Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Microsoft Excel users. In this tutorial we're continuing to look at absolute cell references and something a little bit more complicated than the previous tutorial. We're looking at a mixed absolute and relative cell reference to create a calculation to populate this table you see here. So in this example you can see in that table that begins at row 11 the discounts for the week we have a different discount to be applied for each day of the week and in the main table you can see the list of movies and the full rental price which will obviously be discounted for each day. The challenge here is to create a single calculation that I can then copy to all the other cells in the table. As I'm sure you're aware from the previous tutorial that wouldn't be possible with relative cell referencing. And I can illustrate that by just clicking into cell C3 there and if for example I did equals B3, which contains my rental price, and then deduct the Monday discount. Press the Enter key. So there's the result for Monday, which is fine. However, if I now attempt to simply copy this across, you'll see what happens. Initially, it looks like we have some results in there, so something's working. But clearly, it's not working correctly, because if you look at the rental price for the movie 2001, it's £1.95. And if we look at the discount for Sunday, that's 15 pence. Well, 195 minus 0.15 is 1.80, pound eighteen, not, as in this case, 60 pence. So if we look at the calculation for Sunday, what's happening is it's taking the value in H3. So it's taking the Saturday result and then deducting the Sunday discount. So we have a ridiculous price on Sunday. And in fact, that's happening all the way across. It's not taking the original price. It's taking the cell to the left as its original value to deduct the discount from. So there's an example of where the relative cell referencing falls completely flat. It simply doesn't work in this example. So let's just delete all that off and we will create a calculation or a formula that actually works. Now if you want to have a go solving the problem yourself you can pause the video and try and work it out and then restart the video and see if your solution was correct but remember the challenge is to create a single calculation that will then be copied across the rest of the table so that all the results are correct. Okay so let's think about this logically. Um, now first of all all I need to do here is type the equals sign to begin the calculation and then click on the rental price. Now when this part of the formula is copied across to the different columns I want it to remain locked on column B. And when I copy down rows, I need the row value to be relative, so it changes four, five, six, and so on. So here I need to set the column as absolute and leave the row as relative. So if I press the F4 key once, you can see there we get the full absolute reference. Press the F4 key again, it sets the row as absolute. Press it one more time. And this is what we want, the column as absolute and the row as relative. So that's the first part of our formula. Then press the minus key on the keyboard because it's a subtraction calculation. And click on the discount for Monday because we are creating the Monday calculation. Now here when I copy the formula across to column D, E, F, etc. I do want the column letter to change. However, when I copy this part of the formula down the rows, I want the row to remain the same. So the row should be row 13 all the way down because clearly we only have discount values in row 13. So if I took a value from row 14, that would be pretty useless because there's nothing there. So here I need to let the column be relative and have the row value fixed or absolute. So let's press the F4 key again, which gives us the full absolute reference. Press it one more time. And here we get what we need, which is a column that's relative and a row that's absolute. So equals B3 with the column as absolute, subtracting B13 with the row as absolute. So let's click on that little tick to accept. And the moment of truth, does it work? Well, there's two ways we can copy this formula now to the rest of the table. One way is to first of all copy across the columns. So if I click and drag across to Sunday, and then with that row of results still highlighted, click and drag down from the bottom right in I3, drag down to I9, release the mouse button, and there we are. So we have the entire table populated 
but you might be wondering if those calculations are correct. Well, let's click in any cell. Let's try H8. So Saturday Wizard of Oz, we have £2.40. If we look at the original price, rental price £2.50. And if we look at Saturday's discount, which is 10 pence, well, £2.50 minus 10 pence is indeed 240. And if you look in the formula bar, we can see the calculation is B8, which is the value for Wizard of Oz, subtracting G13, which is the discount price for Saturday. So it works. So think about how you might apply absolute and relative cell references in the formulas when you're populating the tables of data in your spreadsheets. And finally, I just want to show you one other way that you can populate the table with the results. I'm going to use Control and Z to undo what I did previously. And this time, what I'm going to do is copy that formula. You can use Control C on the keyboard or click the copy button there. It doesn't really matter. So I've now copied the formula. And the next thing to do is select all the cells in the table where you want the results to appear. And that includes the original calculation. So I'm going to select C3 down to I9. And all I need to do now is press the Enter key. And just like that, the entire table is populated with the results. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.